and it was quite the roller coaster as the actor and also I'm sure as the viewer to question his intentions and whether he's good or he's bad or if he wants to kill someone or if he's obsessed with Ethan or what is going on. Of, of having to puppeteer and sort of marionette, you know, the character is very sort of carefully but precisely and kind of calculated, you know, without giving anything away. Hey, Jackson. Hey, 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 Jackson. Obviously, we can't get into specifics because obviously it gets into he pretty heavy spoiler territory. Needless to say, the audience goes on quite the journey in terms of the characters. And so can you talk about the intricacies of playing such a complicated role? Noah, I'll start with you. Um, sure. Yeah. I mean, this this role was definitely something I'd never played before. And it was quite the roller coaster as the actor and also I'm sure as the viewer to question his intentions and whether he's good or he's bad or if he wants to kill someone or if he's obsessed with Ethan or what is going on. And I think having all of that in my mind, having all those layers and, and showing that on camera was definitely a challenge, but a, but a lot of fun to play. And I learned a lot along the way. Yeah. I th you know, we both kind of have a, a balancing act of, of, of having to puppeteer and sort of marionette, you know, the character is very sort of carefully, but precisely and kind of calculated, you know, without giving anything away to allow the audience to continue to guess what's going to happen next. Obviously, you meet Nose character Jackson at a point where you're trying to figure him out. You're trying to figure my character Ethan out. And, and you just think it's another Tuesday in the tutoring world for him. And he meets this kid that sort of, um, you know, knocks him out of his shoes a little bit. And, and all the while, this, this is something that, you know, could be quite routine for me what I've experienced with some kind of entitled never ceases to keep you on the edge of your seat wondering what's next. His character gets quite, you know, manipulative and then you get to witness me kind of becoming a victim. And, and then you're sort of wondering, has anybody else seen what's going on here? And then you get to finish the film. So how much did you guys work together on the dynamic between Ethan and Jackson? Because obviously there's a lot, there is a fine line to walk in terms of what you want the audience to feel about them at a given moment. Well, gosh, we, we started by shooting the third act of the film first. So that what? we were sort of thrown in the deep end <laughs> right off the bat. And from that moment, then it kind of, it leaves, it was actually the benefit when a lot of people would be very, you know, scared of a situation like that. Cause it's not only on your first days of establishing your characters, something that you've kind of imagined and, and you have expectations for yourself on what you want to, um, you know, put down. And, and so by starting with the third act really left us a, a, a unlimitedly sort of clean canvas for like almost can do no wrong with all the other stuff, whatever you want to try, whatever you want to play with building up to this moment now, like have at it. It's, it's free game. Um, and that was the most enjoyable part about this film. There were, there were no rules or, or no cuffs on our wrist. Once, once we shot, you know, our first week, then it was just, you know, Disneyland from there. <laughs> oh, and I would be remiss to talk to you and not mention your physical transformation in this film. In particular, I was focused so much on your hairline in this movie because of the, <laughs> it was just every single time I was just like, oh my God, how much did they do? And obviously you have, you've lost so much weight for it. And so just what happened, what went into the preparation for your transformation? You know, it's once I got onto location, I got out there a month before and I just wanted to make it's something that I'd never done before. You know, I got to love what I'm doing and love the character and respect and admire the character sort of first and foremost. And to have a director that allows you to do that. And when I kind of uh, I have some of these crazy ideas and when you have a director that says, I think you have to do that. You know, Jordan Ross is the one that went with me to the barber shop very quickly after I said, I want to shave in a receding hairline. You know, I had time to go around and, and, sort of find all the wardrobe of, of what I'd wear and, and spend that first month kind of being out there and, and, you know, reading my SATs for dummy books and, and trying to figure out what I could do to pull something out of left field to make this continuously exciting for myself. 
you know well thank you so much this has been a great chat and uh i really can't wait to see your film released into the world thanks for talking with me today thank Please. you how was your evening ethan lost everything thanks to you you stay away from my family or i'll hurt you 